Courtney Picks, Night Train Lane, and Dion. Boy, they could just record me saying that. I, they, they might want to do that. It might be <laughs> easier, but it might save the production team backstage. But Jordan Reed is a guy that is a tempo setter for Spot Me Please offense. He can patrol the middle of the field, runs crisp routes out there as well. And then surprise, surprise, you got Don McNabb and Randy Moss. Moss is just on every roster, basically. Well, you got to have you got to have Dion. You got to Moss. Of course, Anthony Barr is another guy. Like on the other side. You have the man, the Minnesota Vikings champion, number 13. Vikings fan from Wisconsin? A, a question mark. You said that with a question mark. I'm going to stamp it with a question mark. But he understands how big of an opportunity this is. He's looking to put his name on the map. He's been playing competitive Madden for a very long time, and he's looking for that recognition here. It feels like this is a great opportunity. A lot of, uh, as you heard Rico uh, say at the top of this broadcast, very classy gentleman in Bobby Strafen. Well, he went... Two and one in the group stage. He's number five in passing. Let's take a look at his money picks here. Yes, there Anthony Barr, Harrison Smith. There's the Vikings champ. The first Anthony Barr sighting we have seen. It's it's interesting because Barr is, for a lot of the, the consensus, one of the best users in the game. So you see him here. Harrison Smith in the back of the secondary. Chad Johnson, Randy Moss, and then Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Rounds out Strafen's roster. Yeah, he's a Vikings fan, but he's from Wisconsin, so he still respects <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Let's go to the scattering report for these guys, brought to you by Xbox. For Spot Me Please, just continue the hot streak that you're on, 3-0 to get to this point. You, you you win the Madden Classic. We don't hear from you until now the championship, but you go 3-0. and You make that, that comeback. Keep riding that wave and start playing well here against I.B. Strafen. Well, what does the Vikings champ I.B. Strafen got to do? The simplest scouting <laughs> report in the history of scouting reports. It's called defense. Have you heard of it? But that's how he wins games. One of the best users in all of competitive Madden. That's not me saying that. That's Strafen saying that. He believes he's got the best user in the game. Well, his rush defense was 21st, his pass defense was 13th. So he's got some work to do in this one. It's going to be Tennessee versus Minnesota is what we got coming up in game number six. Still problem versus Sirius Mo coming up and Hollywood and Kiv. We're a long way away. We got some barn burners to end the day, don't we? This is a treat yourself. Friday here in L.A. And Chad Johnson brings it out to the 25-yard line, and that's where I.B. Strafen will go to work. Very important to also note, you can't underestimate the fact that these guys are lab partners. They play on a consistent basis. Tough for them to match up here in this single elimination round. But Krause couldn't get out there in time before Jimmy Graham catches it on the corner route. And, and Strafen had said that he didn't have a lab partner this entire week because Spot Me Please was his lab partner. So he's one of the only few guys in this whole field that didn't have anyone to prepare with coming into this championship. Ball already on the 46-yard line. In plus territory is I.B. Strafen. Refused to call him Doug the Pirate. Good and team. It is a... Wow. A little play action fake. Ooh. Spot Me Please. Shoots through the gap and almost takes the quarterback's head off there. I had a flashback to Madden 16 there. I was like, whoa, where am I? I have to go back for more therapy. Second and 10. This time he only rushes two. Got to get rid of it. Throws it into coverage. And that's what spot me, please. Big time interception. And Maurice Alexander will bring it back to the 44. And here we just get a broken play that turns into disaster. You get the play, uh, the run upfield from Graham, forced throw into coverage. That was just a broken play that just went worse and went south for Strafen. Yeah, need to throw it away there. And now Williams, that ghost of Madden, 95 elite Ricky Williams. And here we get to start seeing Strafen and what the community would, would air quote call random defense he goes from formation or from play to play on a 4-3 under Williams is okay with that takes it to the 30 yard line and here's the thing though it's not necessarily a random defense he knows what he's doing he knows the adjustments out of it and everything he wants to do it's just not the you call it the meta right it's not the way uh, the community plays he plays outside the box Scott go along with Steven Gibbons here. here go. Match six. Just saw Skimbo punch his ticket to the round of eight. 
I'm not trying to give any spoilers, but we could have a Skimbo Los reseeding. Ooh, dear Dyer. I don't do math. That's the one. I don't do math, but. Talk about a tough match. That'll get there. you up on a Saturday. Uh, I would wake up for that. Little in lucky fact, I will. Charms. <laughs> Sit in front of some Madden. Some cartoons. Madden. Sure. Lucky Charms. Listen to our beautiful voices. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. I don't know if there'll be time. <laughs> we could. Second whole... and six. Ricky Williams. Whole nice little Saturday in. Hit we'll the take pool. it to the 19. Buffet. <laughs> our days of the hotel food is over. <laughs> It is. We've reached our limit. First and ten. Safety's up in the box. Right here. In the red zone. Spot me, please. After the turnover. Goes back to Ricky Williams. This is the guy that used to throw it all over the yard when we saw him at the Mad Classic. Now he is fifth in rushing at 106 yards a game. Yeah, he's really become a more balanced player. And I also think that's recognizing the game as well, right? You're now playing salary cap. A lot of the players here like to play a little more ball control when you're playing with these juiced up rosters, right? So good recognition on his part. You can see the game get out of hand quick. We've seen a lot of scoring runs. Skimbo had a big scoring run. Volterax had a big scoring run in the third quarter of his game. So. You can blink and you can find yourself down 21. Well, well, that's I mean a great great point because if you take a look at just our last game, Little Man Skimbo, really you, you blinked. It, it was all Little Man it was that a first half. Ten to six game. Right. Little then, Man was feeling it. Next thing you know, Skimbo lights up the scoreboard, gets a couple turnovers. That game was over before he even knew it. Had to send the Coast Guard in at the end. Third and seven. Early timeout for Strafen. On a big third down. Here's where it gets difficult when you play strafing. When you get in these third down situations where you have to convert to keep moving the ball. Because he'll change his defense up and you don't necessarily know what he's in. And if you get a forced throw into coverage, he will get an interception with Barr. So seven yards to go at the 16. McNabb, quick throw. And Gates go, man. takes it to the one. Antonio Gates siding. He chucked it into the coverage right there. And Gates is the guy that comes down with it. You can hear some of the frustration from Strafen. You throw that ball into coverage like that, a lot of times you, you see drops, tip picks. So you gotta be careful if you spot me, please. So first and goal at the one. That's how you would write your Madden nightmare. Yeah. It's first and goal at the one. I ran seven QB sneaks. <laughs> That's right, I said seven QB sneaks and I got stuffed every time. Everyone's got a bad Madden beat, right? Like, oh, you're never gonna believe what happened. Quarterback sneak, I ran five sneaks. I got blown up on all of them. Sure thing, buddy. Why don't you go with the toss? He just ran a fullback dive <laughs> to Ricky Williams for a loss of three. I didn't even know that was possible. High pass. And it's a Ooh, touchdown. Man, Ocho Cinco completes the catch. And that's, oh, booth review. And that's how Settle you down. Go. Oh, boy. And it's upheld. There you go. Now I can confirm. <laughs> But that's a great way to capitalize off of a mistake uh, right there for Spot Me Please. He gets that interception <laughs> off of the, the bad read from Strafen. And just like that, now up 7-0 of a free possession. You get to uh, Johnson, the ball in the back of the end zone. That's a, that's a read that you're going to see quite a bit throughout this weekend. Corner patterns, back of the end zone. Get the ball up where only your big receiver can catch it. So trailing by a touchdown now is Ivy Strafen. So stiff arms his way to the 26. Now important for Strafen to come out here and establish himself. Start running the ball a little bit here, get back in the flow of the game. Play mistake-free football. First and 10 with 52 ticks. The go in the first. Rodgers finds, you might have heard of him, Randy Moss. Great play design right there. You run a double drags, which make it very hard for the user to get to any depth behind those routes, and that's where that corner opened up. Rodgers rolling, looking, finding. That's Chad Johnson at the 35. And you can see just a step late in all of the his users. A lot of that has to do with the unique play calling from Strafing. You can't sit on anything because you can't fully anticipate what the play is going to be. Throws it up, and good defense. It's the former Clemson Tiger, T.J. Green. Yeah, and Strafen's going to need to shy away from this gun tight right now. Every time he goes to it, he's getting screamed at it when he runs that play action. Cannot confirm or deny Strafen uses Ask Madden. 
<laughs> you might. Here you go. The community chooses this play. <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. Four, four derticles. <laughs> Rolling with it. Might have heard of it. Second and ten. Rodgers. Great play. Oh, my goodness. Lucky Liam? that didn't get picked yeah. off. It, wow. It, it Strafen is just smiling at that one because he knows he just got away with one. Now third and seven. Yet again, another unique formation. Trips to the left now. Perhaps the final play of the quarter, and it will be. Do we got serious mode and problem coming up next? Did that it, just it, sink in? I don't know if everyone understands how big <laughs> of the, the, the games we have coming up are. Take a look at this play selection, though, right now. Spot me, please. Seven rushes, three passes. Strafen has yet to run the ball. Great play. Right down the middle of the field. He's in control at the 12-yard mm. line. So here, here's where your unique play calls help you win ball games, right? You can't sit on a play. And once th these players all here, they see the play, the same formation, same plays over and over again. They eventually sit on a route, right? And that's when they can take it away. When you go to formation to formation, it's very difficult to sit on any specific route. Rodgers. He'll just throw it away, and that'll bring up second down. If you just join us, Volterax, Los, Boogs, Joke, and Skimbo have punched their ticket to the final eight. Will it be spot me, please, Strafen, Problem Serious Mo, or in our nightcap, Young Kib versus Hollywood? I have to ask your parents if you could stay up late for that one. And it's a touchdown by Strafen, and we're tied 7-7. Seven seven. It's a great way to... I meant your parents, by the way. <laughs> you want to call oh Shirley God. and John? Yeah, sure. You can call Shirley and John, see how they're doing, and see if they'll let me stay up. But good read right here. Snap throw, you had the one high safety, he gets the ball to Moss inside, gets that animation. A lot of times you might say, oh, it looks covered, but these guys, repetition, they know what to anticipate when they throw that ball there. Get the ball high, Moss gets that animation, falls down, easy touchdowns. Remind me of an animation Sirius Mo had with Dion oh, ho, ho, ho. in the Madden Bowl when we were in Orlando for, one, the, for the George W. One of the best call, Madden calls I've ever heard from RG in that one. I, I, I listen to it and I still get chills. <laughs> I really do. First and ten. RG is getting lathered up. Oh yeah. Tail wagon for these next two. Ball at the 42. Three for three is McNabb. Yeah, and once again another new formation. Take a look right here. Spot me, please. Take a look at that baby controller. That little baby tiny <laughs> controller won that man the Madden Classic. Ugh. It's very diabolical of him to use a very small controller with large hands like that. That controller could eat for free at Denny's. <laughs> A grand slam. Absolutely. Seven to seven. Hands off underneath the Ricky Williams. And he'll stumble to the 46. A lot of sighing in this game. I mean, you can see the tension between the two. They, they, you can tell that they respect each other because they're not chirping at yeah. each other, right? We, we said the book Silent Soldier game was going to be the Quiet Bowl, right? This is Quiet Bowl 2.0 between these two competitors. They have a lot of respect for each other. Sort of like playing yourself. Yeah. Pause. Pause. Second and six. I gotta keep the chat engaged. No, there's no one better in the business at it than you. <laughs> seven to seven. McNabb high points to Chad Johnson down at the 39. Four for four for 52 yards and one tutty right now for Donovan McNabb and spot me please offense. Crisp reads, change your formations here. Single back jumbo. Look for a quick run. Or you also have Chad Johnson bang right there on that big post. McNabb. Settles in. This time he finds Ocho Cinco again. Hey, five for five. He saw it, partner. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you, whenever you see one of those posts, yep. you, you got it. That's the focus of where you think their offense is going. Double tight end. Another formation. Here we go. Keeps it on the ground, but this time the defensive strafing is there to bottle him up. Second and ten. And the clock is beginning to tick away here. You, if you're if you're spot me, please, you look to try and do your best problem impersonation here. Run this clock all the way down to the two-minute warning inside the two as well. And end this drive with a touchdown. Waste as much time as possible. Inside the red zone. Quick throw. Randy Moss. Thought he was gonna get a user juke in there. 
Wraps him up at the 10, third and two. Yeah, and here we go. You got enough time on the play clock to run this down to the two minute warning. They'll get you inside the two, waste some more time off the clock, or make Strafe and use his timeouts. And it will be the two minute warning. Big third down coming up at a 7 7 game between two, these two guys that have been battling out for about six years now. Six years, you heard Strafe say that these two guys have been competing and playing with each other. That Pause. is a long time to play with each other. Come on, let's go. Just stop. Third and two. McNabb. Ooh. Reed. That's a good find. A good find. That's a new set of downs. First and goal at the three. Yeah, ball now in the three. Only one timeout now for Strafen. Ideally, you'd like to see him waste his last timeout here. Back to Ricky Williams. Ricky. There you go. Picks up one. And you're right, he's out of timeouts. And so now spot me, please. Run a bit more time off the clock if he chooses, but my opinion, anytime you can punch it in, you better punch it in. And goes to Ricky, and that's what he does. The former Longhorn will put Spot Me Please back up by a touchdown. A very nice executed drive right there from Spot Me. Checks all the box, right? You're able to get the clock under two minutes. Ricky Williams behind center, runs it in, untouched until the last second. Easy touchdown, up seven now. But he made spot. Uh, he made Strafen use all of his timeouts. Now that's step one. He got the the, the clock under the two-minute warning. So clock management to perfection right there from Spot Me Please. So first and ten. And he starts the drive with the 25. Strafen. Yeah, he's in trouble there. Could be. Yeah. So what happens here? Strafen runs all of his route progressions from the right side of the field to the left side of the field. That made it extremely easy for Spot Me Please to defend everything, right? So you never want all your routes running to one side of the field because then you become one dimensional. Under center, second and 10. Play action. Throws it up. Dip Boy, drill. <laughs> and that looked like that was Joey Bosa getting one of those patented block sheds. Yeah, Bosa. One of the best pure pass rushers you'll find in this tournament. He can do it with the power moves. He can do it with the finesse moves. He's got a whole repertoire to get after the quarterback. Third 10. High point. A great defense. It's Darius Eubanks. Boy, he's been a value guy. Darius Eubanks, one of those guys that you just look to have value on your roster. Very low cap. But he has some skills, some speed, some height that make him a very big time value user player. Well, Doug the Pirate, okay, it's Strafe and going for it. Good pressure. Right up Let's the go. middle on a Come big on. hit. TJ Green dislodges the ball from Jimmy Graham. We got a turnover on downs. Yeah, quick pressure off the right edge. It was delayed. It comes from the cornerback spot. We'll watch Chad Johnson once again here. Roll announcement now. Try to playmaker, fumbles it out of bounds at the 20 yard line, second and five. This is where things can get away from you right now if you're strafing. A touchdown would be a big issue right now for him. Go down two scores. Hands it off, that's Ricky Williams. Spins. And they'll say he went nowhere. Big third down. A little aggressive there with his play call. He calls the edge sting. That's man to man defense blitzing six defenders after the ball carrier. That's how you can say he's really kind of. Got his ears in the backfield looking to stop the run. Whenever you call that, your opponent knows and recognizes it. You got to make sure you mix up your play calls in the next possession. Well, for spot me, please. You got three already in your back pocket. I'm going to work that clock. Maybe you can get something toward the corner of the end zone. Good user. That's where he goes. Picked off, but couldn't get a foot in bounds. Yeah, so we Whew. get the fumble out of bounds with McNabb, <laughs> right? And then now we get the interception there. Oh, feet not in bounds. Kicks it up and it is good. And so now it's a 10 point lead for that man right there. Spot me please from West Virginia. I'm sure his wife and son watching back on the East Coast. And, and for spot me, it's, it isn't all about the, the redemption story, getting back here. You, you win the Madden Classic, you start the, the competitive Madden season off right, right? All the yep. excitement, all, grand. The, all okay the energy. And uh, 
then we don't see from you, you don't hear from you <laughs> until now, right? Everyone kind of forgets about you. And, and now you come out, you go 3 on your group stage. Now you're playing Ivy Strafen and you're up 10. Strafen trying to <laughs> close that margin on a nice playmaker to Moss. Big time strike. Boy, how big is a field goal here for Strafen? And it wasn't an easy group. Spot me, please, beat Monster, Wild, and Duke. That's impressive. A lot of people said that was one of the toughest groups. And a good find to Jimmy Graham. Big. So now he's at the 20. No timeouts. Big. 23 seconds. Clock's ticking away. You got to be very careful here. No sack right now out of field goal range or clock ticking away. Yeah, making it a one score game would be huge. Throws it up. Took the gamble and it paid off. Strafen is back in this one. You get the ball back with 42 seconds after giving up a touchdown. And here, just beautiful. Playmakers upfield, hey, that's Chad that Johnson. Still and just an unbelievable drive right there. No timeouts, you're thinking field goal. The whole world's thinking, okay, he's going for a field goal. But he gets himself into position to take a shot at the end zone, and he converts. I've seen him take a couple kicks back this time. Won't make it to no more than the 29-yard line. Nine seconds left, three timeouts. Back everybody up here if you're strafing. Back well, them all up. <laughs> quick pop and a quick field goal. He's got Jason Myers, doesn't have the biggest leg. Uh-oh. Throws it to Reed. Reed's got some room, and he'll fall down, and he'll get a timeout. So he will get one shot at the end zone here, Gibbs. Yeah, and, you know, he gets that one shot. He's not close enough for a field goal, but he will have an opportunity. We saw in the last game, uh, or one of our previous games, Monsta getting that touchdown to Moss. It's time in the pocket. Play action. Not going to get it. Spot me rolling out and just throws it away. Smart. Goes for the safe play. and We got a three-point game at half. And what a big score there by Strafen with under a minute to go. Gets down the field. No timeouts. No timeouts at all. And able to make this a three-point game. Beautiful. I mean, just a beautiful drive there to get – this game within three points to end the half. You don't very often really anticipate with only 42 seconds, no timeouts, I'm going to get a touchdown with time left on the clock to end a half. So what do we always say? The best players in the world perform the best at end of half situations and end of game situations. They play perfectly there. So great job by Strafen there. We got a three point game. Spot me with the lead. Let's go to Dave and the guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Farrell's, first of all, welcome back to the desk. Nice to have you back here. Well, good to be back. We missed you. It smells way better over here. <laughs> I messed up all Scott's crap over there, and I feel like he's going to be really mad at me. But I'm over here now. We can't touch him. Exactly. We're, we're a world away yeah, now. Uh, Rico, let's turn to you first here. Like we heard our casters say, huge touchdown by Strafen at the end there. Absolutely. I was about to start counting him out and saying the computer had it all right and I was wrong. <laughs> but the winds have changed. That was a big score. Got him back in within one score. Now he needs to get a stop, buckle down, and continue to play the second half like he ended the first. That's right. Spot me is going to get the ball back at uh, for the second half. But Farrell's in this first half. Why don't you take us through these highlights and see what we saw in the first? Yeah, I mean, we thought it was going to be offense. And early it started out with the interception, but that quickly did turn into the offense that we expected. Spot me, please. Easy money up top. Got the feed in. Fire it, didn't want it. He goes downfield, high point pass, ties up the game. And then another touchdown run for Spot Me, please. I thought it was going to get out of hand, but look at this big man drive right before the half for the man, Strafen. He has to make just a few adjustments in the second half to potentially slow down Spot Me. Rico, when you've played somebody, though, this is my question, like that many times, what adjustments can you make? Is it just an in-game thing? I mean, Spot Me's running some different stuff, but... but it, it still comes down to not making mistakes. Like you saw that first drive, he threw that pass. He knew that was a bad read, but he threw it anyway. The turnover, that's the difference in this ball game. Yeah. It's going to come down to who makes the fewer mistakes and then whoever wins the turnover battle. Turnover is always huge at this stage. Now, we're watching another really, really tough matchup here. But as we've seen over the course of the day, the guys here are not just talented at Madden. We also have some of the biggest personalities in our community here. Let's take a look at what, are these, what these competitors think about the other guys in this tournament. The loudest player on stage left in the final 16. That is a tough one, but I guess you kind of got to go with little man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, when they're throwing their tantrums, I'd, I'd have to say my boy joke. <laughs> Serious Mo, like he really gets into the game when he's playing and he tries to like get in your head. Probably me if I feel like I got cheated. <laughs> Quietest competitor, I'd probably say Bugs or Hollywood. Bugs. But Bugs? Bugs. Bugs. That's Reggie Brown, my man Bugs. He doesn't say a thing. He doesn't, I don't even think he blinks. He doesn't move. His mannerisms stay the same, whether he fumbles or whether he's up by 50 points. Who has the best hair? Myself. Young Kiv has to have the best hair. Probably Young Kiv. <laughs> You guys want me to say Kiv, but... Kiv probably does. He, he spends the most time on it. Hollywood's got a pretty tough man bun, too, so... The best hair is definitely young Kiv, and it's not even close. Do I have to, like, talk about his hair? Kiv is unquestioned the best hair, man. That's not even a good question, honestly. All right, fairly unanimous. Kiv with the best I, hair? I don't know. Hollywood kind of jealous yeah. or <laughs> wanted to get some rep on his hair. All he got was props for the man bun. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, Can that, you that give would be props debated. On a man bun? <laughs> that's a question for another time. That, that's a bigger question than we're going to answer here. The man bun I like is on my on my burger, a pound of meat. <laughs> well, as we uh, deliberate about man buns over here, I want to remind you guys that the Madden Championship is powered by Xbox, and we've teamed up to give away a new Xbox One S. You should head over to EA Sports underscore Mutt and look for the pinned entry tweet and retweet it to enter. Now we are still moving forward we have a huge matchup we've been talking about it all day problem and serious mo coming up next but before we get there let's continue on with spot me and strafen send this thing back to our casters scott cole stephen gibbons all right thank you so much guys good halftime report there we got a three point game here spot me please with the lead and he's going to get the ball i think that's a key point to this game yeah, he's been doing a great job of uh, getting some turnovers in that first half. You saw that first drive from Strafe, and that was really the tone center. That's been the difference in this one is that one first turnover. So in this second half, I want to see, again, who makes the first mistake. That mistake might lead to the eventual loss. Well, it's time for the second half here in game number six. Spot me, please, with the... Fisher Price, my first controller. Not uh -oh. oh, Doug. Evil Strafen? Evil Strafen. Doug the Pirate changing his gear, kid. <laughs> Part of the evil hey. empire moving in. Doug. Search your Change, feelings. Changing his official uniform. <laughs> they catch the rules. I don't know. So spot me with the ball. First and 10. Little motion. McNabb. Good heat. Wide opens Williams. Can't get away from Anthony Barr. When, when looking at the pressure that Strafen brings, it's it's different in terms, it's not the nickel blitz you're accustomed to seeing. So it's a little slower. His pressure is a little bit more passive, but what makes it di uh, difficult to read against is you never know where it's coming from. Is it left edge? Is it left slot? And is it is it right uh, B get? He, he changes up his blitzes so effectively that he, even if it's not as quick as your nickel blitzes or your corner blitzes, he still has a lot of success with it. It's kind of easy to... See what side it's coming from in that nickel, too. This is a bit more balanced. Third and one. User. Wow, the ball is out. Get the, get him. And somehow, Spotty please recovers. Yeah, and he's a slur of words there, but he gets the fumble. But unfortunately, Anthony Barr wow. can't pick it up. But that was a great user. Shoots inside with a hit stick. Oh, no, no, no. That's tragic. Steps over the line. Got to accept that. Yeah. I know you guys are boys. No, no. He oh, doesn't. boy. I know Skimbo would accept that. There's something about Schrafen. No one will take a penalty against him. He's you just intimidating. You just, you just hit accept and move on. When he puts the hood up, he becomes Darth Strafen. Look at him. Wow, <laughs> our little red riding hood. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is your last game of the day, right? <laughs> yeah, it right, is. Just, just making sure. <laughs> Fourth and six. Big time play. Why don't you sit out the next few plays, uh, champ? Okay, <laughs> you take it from here. Fourth and six. McNabb. Quick throw. Just out of reach. Open. You hear Spot me, said he was Third open. What quick. do you think? 
He was open. He, he did throw a, a, a shade quick, and we don't want to call that an interception or a turnover, but that's the first mistake here of the second half. We talked about it at, at halftime. That's the first mistake we've seen. Strafen looking to make it 14 okay. unanswered points here if he can punch it in. He's already to the 21. Here's a little tempo. Critical to get a field goal out of this drive to tie the game. Quick throw. Really looked like he was going to go the running game. And a one-on-one -on -one against that spinner D leads to the first down. And if that's not the staple of his offense, I don't know what is. But right here, Moss off the seam, play action pass also. Couldn't get it there, but decides to check down to Rice. Secondary target. Lee drops it in the end zone. Feeling it. What do you think about Dubby throwing him under the bus? Yeah, I was out with Strafing last night. <laughs> Not cool, bro. Not cool. Second and goal. Rolls out, throws it. He's going to find his way into the stands. Yeah, got away with one right there. He, he rolls out. He had two defenders, one in the short part of the end zone, one in the deep part of the end zone. He's lucky that Rodgers sailed that there. Now ball on the 10-yard line. Look for one of these corners potential here and here. Third and goal. Rodgers has a man and can't hold on. Boy, almost looked like he had enough steps for that to be a touchdown, but cannot complete the catch. You know, the, 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 raw, the raw emotion that he shows on any given play is like we don't see from anyone else in this tournament. You really see him explode after a play, right? And that shows how locked in he is. And at this point, that drop touchdown there is one of the biggest plays of this game thus far. Let's take a look at it again because you thought you had the lead and next thing you know you're kicking the field goal I mean, to right there and then drops it. Well that's Anthony Barr on the side for spot me please. Dislodging it from Ocho. Now ball's out. That ball is out. And that's count out the Ooh. fumbles now. It's Let's two go. fumbles. In this half for Strafen, he has yet to recover a fumble yet. He's beginning to feel it. He, he's really putting the pressure on right now for, on Spot Me Please. First and 10 out of the 40. Bunch to the right. Watch a deep bomb right here if he gets time in the pocket. Good heat. Good job checking it down to Antonio Gates. Get him. His knee will go down at the 48-yard line, second and two. Yeah, in the setup you saw there from Strafen, he, he put a comeback off that left edge on a deep post behind it. He's looking, anticipating, seeing a cover three. If he gets that matchup in time in the pocket, he can hit deep downfield to one-play touchdowns. Backing off the coverage of Strafen. Could he? Oh, my God. Barely gets rid of it. Now it's Anthony Barr and Khalil Mack. <sighs> That's some aggressive defense from Strafe. Cover zero. What that means, there's no deep safeties protecting the deep halves of the field. Every defender is matched up one-on-one -on -one with the receiver across from them, so very aggressive indeed. Watch this backside uh, in route. He's going to throw it to Randy Moss. Let's go. Makes a man miss. Krause is the only guy there. I recommend a bigger controller. Yeah. I mean, he, he missed on that tackle right there. Gave a little extra yards to Moss. You can see right there, one whiff, two whiff. He's lucky he was going out of bounds there. So first and 10 at the 21. Spot me trying to answer. Uh-oh. He'll run with McNabb. Let's go Superman to the nine. Not recommended. You have a tendency to fumble <laughs> when you dive like that. He gets away with one right there. Now again, a tie ball game. The most important is to hold on to the rock. Spot me 12 for 16, buck 68, one touchdown so far. Watch for that little vertical wheel route to Moss. He's gonna change it up. First and goal. Tie game, 90 seconds left in the quarter. Winner advances. No. He got the ball to, the, to Moss, who he wanted to on that play, but not able to keep his feet in bounds. So now we get in that critical area of the field. So difficult to score this part of the field. A lot of times you need to run the ball to get to the end zone. Second and goal. And Williams. Gain two. 
That doesn't do much, but it makes it third and goal. A couple things available to you at this point. You're, the ball's on the seven, so the, a run. Very difficult to try and get in the end zone here at this point. Your best option, back in the end zone, watch back here, a little route underneath it. Those are your typical routes, also your tight end route. Rolling, quick throw, that's William stiff arm. Fighting. And we'll pick up four, and now here's fourth and goal, and yo VIP, let's kick it. Let's kick it. <laughs> up, and it is good. Yes, and we got a three nothing advantage. And a 20 to 17 ball game. Yeah, great drive there by Spot Me. Falls short. Good red zone defense. Oh, don't Careful get cute. here. Can't get cute. Costly mistake uh -huh. right there. He was about 15 yards of field position. I'm backed up in his own end zone now. Play action. Has plenty of room to work and has a man wide open down the middle of the field. That's Ocho Cinco. And that gets him out of the shadow of his own end zone. Yeah, that's a big way to bounce back after that, that breakdown there. Last time we saw this formation, he went to a post over the middle of the field. So look for it again here. Johnson's usually a primary target. We got two high safeties, usually anticipate cover two. Great place to attack in those seams right there and on those deep sidelines against those cover twos. This game is cruising along. 10 seconds left in the quarter. You know, we, we've seen some of those fumbles uh, from, from Spot Me Please, but it still feels as though this game will come down to that, that big play, that big mistake that one of these players will eventually make here in the closing minutes. Throw up your fours. We are headed to the fourth quarter and a three-point game between really buddies, friends, Six years. Matted BFFs for the last six years. Six years of Biffles. Second and seven, wide open is Randy Moss. I still can never figure out how is Randy Moss wide open. Because he's that darn good, <laughs> and you get him all over the field. He, yeah, he never gets, I mean, listen, he is wide open at, you're right, you're right, that how open he gets on a consistent basis. There's the heat. Come on, man. God, Brought man. Night Train Lane. Kind of unabated to the quarterback. And you're hearing the frustration there because he wants the, a, a fumble uh, in that situation, try to avoid it. Quick throw. Big hit on Jerry Rice, who's been quiet. And here's a big third and one. Still in field goal range, so make sure you wear that. And there's the run. All the way it was a run, Gibbs. Sell out there. Two rushes only, though, for Ricky Williams up to this point. So you've really been able to sell out on the pass here in this one if you spot me, please. In the red zone, on, TJ Green knocks it down. Be very careful there throwing that ball up. You get that tip right there when your other player jumps in and gets that interception. Starting to see some tendencies a little bit here from Strafen. Rolling out to the end zone. That was a bang, bang play that ends up with Randy Moss dropping it in the end zone, third and 10. Yeah, and once again, third and 10. Very important you tie the game here to give yourself not only a chance to win this game, because if, if you don't score here, you give the ball back, that could be detrimental if Spot Me has a chance to go up two scores. Empty backfield, quick throw. And Maurice Alexander, who already had a pick, this time just swats it down, fourth and 10. And back and forth we go, field goal after field goal. High ball game here, four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Strafing your Minnesota Vikings Club Series champion. Taking on Spot Me Please, the Madden Classic champion here. A spot on the line to get to the quarterfinals in the Madden go. Championship. Let's go. Both these Let's players go. know what's at stake here. It's final minutes of this one. Self-motivation going on for both of these players. I heard Strafing after that big hit say, let's go. Needs to lock him up with 3.55 to go. Spot me with the ball. It's West Virginia versus Wisconsin. Good heat. Once again, you get the aggressive cover zero from Strafen. At some point, you gotta start wondering, does, does Spot me recognize that catch you and hit you out of the corner pattern for a big play? After the nine-yard gain, Ricky Williams will pick up the first down. 
out to the 36. 16 carries for 42 yards, well below his average. And now, if you spot me, please. Yes, you got that baby controller, that lime green baby controller, <laughs> smaller than your average one. He said it was discontinued. Like, he, yeah. he even trying to look for an extra to, one. Trying to buy them all. But you got to go for a championship drive here. End this game with a touchdown. You know what they say with guys with small hands, small controllers. Factual information. 20 to 20. Three minutes left to go in this one. 14 and 19, buck 181, one touchdown for Spot Me through the air. Nab. Oh, wow. a little shovel pass. Bad. Take it easy, Curly Neal. Yeah, he had to get rid of that one quick as pressure was coming off the edge rather quickly on that one. He had no choice but to dump it off in that short flat. We have seen him use that play previously on his Madden Classic run. So third and ten. McNabb, there's the heat. Watch out. That was Jalen Smith. The former fighting Irish linebacker. Quick, quick pressure off that edge. Now we get in that fourth and ten spot. These are the difficult moments, and he will punt here. He's going to have faith in his defense. These two are going back and forth in a big heavyweight battle here. The round of 16, the Madden Championship. Extra 10 racks on the line. <sighs> Sounds I'm nice. I'm punting the football. Of course, you could have put him also on the short field. So we've seen it work yeah, both ways. A, a lot of times, and that's a great point, right? So a lot of times, you'll see guys go for it there. And the reason they do that is because if they give up a touchdown, they give them the short field, it's less time that they, your opponent can take off the clock. So that they get a better chance at getting their own drive to tie the game or potentially win it, right? So that's where a lot of times you see that. But I like, you know, the confidence in your defense. Well, he gets it done on first down as Eubanks and Barr drop IB strafing for a two-yard loss, and the clock is tick, tick, ticking away. Two-minute warning coming up. That's a throw to Graham, and Graham. Can't make a man miss. A gain of six. So it's now third and six of the two-minute warning. And you're going to get a potential decision on fourth down here for strafing as well. Punt, no punt. You know, if you do punt, you're going to give a short field as well. So big play here on third down. 20 to 20 game. Survive in advance. Oh, man. And he almost threw a Todd. And he, yeah, right <laughs> directly into the hands of Spot Me Please. And here we go. We said it. These games come down to who makes the big play and who doesn't. Fourth and six. So Spot Me punted it. Ivy Strafen will go for it. Watch Williams out of the backfield. Quick heat. Ooh, and Spot Me's so going to have the Whistle ball. Pick it. At the 16-yard line. Pick it. Look at it again, Gibbs. Yeah, and Spot Me gets underneath that route, and you could see, hear him say he was going to pick it. If you remember earlier today, Los, uh, uh, excuse me, you remember earlier today with Joke versus Monster, that user pick that he yeah. had underneath the ball. Huge. That's exactly what Spot Me Please was going for there. Now. He gets some stops here for, for strafing. I mean, I was working out the hotel, so I, you know, I yeah. barely saw it, but. Working at the buffet. <laughs> here we go. Second and eight. Wants to get in that end zone, but got to be mindful oh, of the Ricky. clock. You don't want to score too One quickly. Yeah, I mean, first well, here's the thing. A, a first down, you know, you, you really think run now. Right? If don't need, you don't necessarily need a touchdown. You don't, you don't but. Work that clock. Work the clock. Strafing can kind of pin back his ears here, really sell out to try and stop the run here because he knows that the first down, he cannot give up a first down. That's almost worse than a touchdown at this point because that's the game. And how about you not throw a pick six? It's got to be on that. your mind too if you try to go to the flats. Spami does try to trick you though. Here's the pass. Uh-oh. Yep. So he got, this is, oh this is a tough one to be, and now so you got to kick the field goal. So clock stops, he's got one timeout. And Schrafen's going to be trailing by three. Back and forth we go. A game <laughs> of field goals now in the second half. Here you go. If you're, this is it for Strafen. This is, listen, 
as a competitive Madden player, this is really what it's all about. Yep. You get the rock in your hand. A minute and a half. One timeout. You've done this thousands of times if you're strafing. Viewers at home, this is why you play competitive Madden right here. You get this one chance, this opportunity here to get a championship drive. Rogers. It's rid of it, throws it to the so middle. Boy, TJ Green was closing down, but Johnson got to the ball first. Yeah, and we got to start taking a look at the base gold Caleb Sturgis Who? for strafing. So we're still not in field goal territory yet. 73 overall kicker give from me the, the Eagles. Give me the 30. And Paul oh. Krause almost had a deflection and a pick. Paulie Krause. He hasn't done a lot in, yeah. in, in this particular championship. You, you rewind a few championships ago, you know, as far as challenges and things like that. Paul Krause was was lit, bro. He was the big time safety, right? Now you, you see him kind of fall off a little bit on these rosters. Good user. And just throws it away and Come takes on, a Dave. big hit. One stop. And now here we go. One stop. Third One stop. and ten. Yeah, Strafen needs to get to the ball. To the 30, he can feel great about a 47-yard field goal with Sturgis. That little buffer room for him. Clock. 67 seconds to go. That's not going to get it done. A, a three-yard drag was not the answer. Here we go. This is your tournament life. Fourth in the game for Ivy Strafen. Will he be here tomorrow? He'll be heading back to Wisconsin. Locked up. Looking, looking, throwing, and five. Wow. Randy Moss on a playmaker brought him back to him. Randy Moss with the bailout of the century. And there's the uh -oh. heat dialed up. And from there, it is a 46-yard field goal. He's in range. He, he's in range. You cannot take a sack here. No. You almost run the ball here to give yourself a buffer for a passing situation on third down. Only has one that timeout. That would be smart football. You got to keep that in your back pocket as well. No sack. If you're a savage, you throw it to the end zone. And he's looking downfield, uh -oh. and he takes uh -oh. a sack. Uh, see, it's a 50-yarder now. You can't Clock waste moving. your timeouts here either because you need it. He takes the coverage sack, and we're going to get a timeout from Spot Me, please. Interesting. There's the coverage sack. And now you're in that 50-yard field, uh, field goal territory, and now you have to look underneath. So the question now becomes, this is the cat and mouse, okay? Here's why. Spot me, please. If he knows he's going to go underneath here, he could leave a deep pass downfield. But to strafe and anticipate that, um, there's a lot going on on this one play. A lot, a lot of my uh, reverse reverse psychology, we call it. There's a lot going on in your brain right now. Third and 14. There's the run. Good Hands it off. Great play call. And that is huge. Works it to the 25. Spot me will use another timeout. Yeah, that's smart. He's going to have time. Yeah. Give himself time because because Strafen would have wasted the clock there all the way down. Kicks it, and it is good. Of course, you could have ran it down and gone for the ice. Yeah. 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 I think this is the right way to go. Back and forth we go again. You got to kick this in bounds. I mean, I don't know. With spot me, do you kick it in bounds? I guess so. All those Here kick comes returns. Johnson. He had two kick returns. I'm not going to have one here. One play, maybe two if it's quick. Look to get a, a, a route to the sideline. About 20 yards downfield. No, he's going to run. A lot of running run. One more timeout. He'll use that timeout, and now. Not to throw it to the end zone on second and inches. 65 yards from Paydirt. We're two seconds from a little free football. Dare I say, overtime. Not at the screen play. Uh oh. Has some blockers. He's going to get chased down by Khalil Mack from behind. And we will move to Man. overtime. Let's go. Free Lock football, in. baby. This is our first overtime match of the championship here for today. You thought you were done with me. I know. One drop, <laughs> one touchdown, that's all we need. I'm okay. I'm okay with a little overtime football with you, buddy. And this is huge. Wins the toss. If he goes down and scores a touchdown, it's over. Strafen goes home. If he kicks a field goal, Strafen will have a chance. An interception by Strafen, and then he kicks the field goal, it's over. 
Yeah, that's where turnovers at, at this point of a game, a fumble in this area of the field is your tournament life. An interception at this point of the field for Spot Me Please is your tournament life because you give the rock back to Spot Me for an easy field goal. Cannot turn the ball over to Strafen. Play action. Rolling out. Quick throw. Play. Has Jordan Reed. Beautiful play. First time we've seen that all game long from Spot Me Please. Kept that in his back pocket, dialed up when he needed it. And how about that? To get out of that tough area of the field, give you some breathing room. Don't worry about the clock, not a factor. Throws it out to Williams. He avoids the big hit from Harrison Smith. So now it's second and three from the 40. Cover zero again on that last play. And Ricky had a little bit of room there. Come on, Picks come up on. six. One First touchdown. down, spot me, please. Yeah, and if you're strafing here, what's going on in your mind is can't give up that touchdown. You're already giving up chunk plays right now. You got to clamp down here, play some big boy D. Ball at the 34. Hands it off to Ricky. Stutter steps to the 32. Both these players done a phenomenal job in this one, going back and forth. Good defense in the red zone. You've yet to see that big, costly turnover in this game. Here we go! Survive in advance, winner moves on, and Ricky Williams will run out of bounds in 31. Not what he was looking for there, third and seven. Big spot now right here on third and seven. Spot me please, being in field goal range, doesn't convert. You'll most likely see that field goal and then spot me or straight and get a chance to have his own rebuttal drive. Bunch up to the left. Antonio Gates tied in with Ricky Williams beside Donovan McNabb on third and seven. Got to dial something up. He's hit as he throws. And that's going to be a 48 yarder for Jason Myers. Yeah. That's not a give me. No, I mean, stop. another field goal here. Once again, this game coming down to, to field stop. goals. Come on. And now, spot me, please. You heard him. One stop, and this game is over. Yeah, and one drive here from Strafen, a touchdown, and this game could be over as well. Who steps up, makes the big play first? Jerry Rice has a bit of room. Best return we've seen of the day to the 30. Yeah, and when we've seen Strafen play the best in this game is when he's been able to mix his, his offense, go under center a little bit, a little play action pop passes to Jimmy Graham, dunking the ball underneath, opening up everything downfield. First and 10. And there is Ricky, bounces to the 37. It's a good way to start the drive now. Let's not forget, if you are Strafen here, you turn the ball over, this game is over. Second and three, here's the blitz. Gets it out quickly, and there's the GOAT. Jerry Rice. Uh, this is just, uh, this game is just back and forth and phenomenal action so far in this overtime period as well. Goes to Ricky. Ricky doesn't get much on first down, second and 10. At what point is Mom's spaghetti ready? I'm, I'm saving out. I'm saving <laughs> the Mom's spaghetti for the right time. We're close though. Midfield Fight. takes it to the 48. Rodgers is throwing the ball 40 times. Completed only 20 of them, 50%. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a mathematician, but I can do that math. Single, 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 single. Third and one. Watch for a sharp user in the middle of the field here. Yeah, he gets it what he wants. Throws mm -hmm. it to the backside. That's Graham. He's got all kind of room. Oh, Trucks oh, him, oh, and oh, Eubanks oh, might have saved the touchdown at the 22. Be a He's in field trunk. goal range. Jimmy on, Graham. Me, me. Short little pass in the flat. You get the blocking on the sideline, and then Jimmy Graham, another five yards. High points it, and a good play by Air T.J. Run. Green. You see a little bit of Monsters offense here with those quick pop passes. A few times already in this game, we've seen safeties tip that ball. Strafe has been able to get away with it. You're in field goal range. Remember, you could kick a field goal, tie it up. Quick throw. Ricky. Ricky fighting. He's going to be short, though, third and in inches. Oh, boy. <laughs> you could hear that one. How about Chad Johnson in the back of the end zone? One time for the boys. 
And he's going to take a timeout. Two minute warning doesn't exist in the overtime. The, nope. the clock doesn't matter at all. Throw it out the window. Throw it out the window, right? I mean, you, I mean, I'm not wasteful. You take a look at the play clock. Play clock matters. Play clock does matter. <laughs> Third and inches. Didn't like what he saw. Now it's time to dial one up one time. Well, you, you got to be careful trying to stop the sneak, and you end yeah. up giving up the game yeah. winning touchdown. That's the issue right now. The, uh, a quick toss here could be touchdown off the edge for, for Thomas. I mean, Williams, rather. He will. Of course, a little audible. Watch for a run here, but he could kick it wide if he gets a block, a seal off that edge for the huge run. And he does sneak it. It's going to depend on the spot, and they will give him the first down. So. First and 10 from the 11 at overtime. The stones on Doug the Pirate <laughs> to run a QB sneak there. Are you Arr. serious? First and 10. I was reaching at Farrell's territory there. Yeah. Don't force The me. throw to the end zone. All right. Second down. Yes, that was a big play. He gets the ball up to Moss. Watch for the tipped interceptions when you go for that pass in the back of the end zone. One more time, Moss right there in the scene. Could be a $10,000 touchdown. No, oh, third down. <laughs> That's two times now to Moss, and every time he throws that ball, the entire audience here just oohs and ahs. As we are all on the edge of our seat, we're gonna go one more time here, back of the end zone. I'm telling you though, you're playing with fire every time you do that. Unless you're doing the skimbo, you're playing with fire. Third and 10 at the 11. Play action. Looking. Take back it. in the end zone. Yes. It's picked Let's up. Go. It's Bobby, please. Let's go. Will advance. Yes. Come on. Wow. Three point win and interception wow. in overtime. And two good friends will have some stories to tell on the front porch for years to come. Can't believe it's a game. It, it went to the well <laughs> one too many times there at the yeah. end, right? You know, he, he had uh, the first high point to Moss, got away with it, right? Then you had the, the second high point to Moss, gets away with it. Third time, uh, spot me please just sitting on it, right? Um, so great user play there. Anthony we said it. freaking bar. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it came down to who made the big play. Uh, and Spot Me Please made the big play, and he's moving on. Well, we would have had a great winner either way. It just happens to be Spot Me Please. Dre is down on the field. Absolutely, Scott. Well, everybody was on the edge of their seats. This was a heavyweight slugfest. Spot Me, you came through with a huge pick. How were you able to just have the fortitude to battle this out and come out on top down the stretch? I just kept fighting. Uh, he had a great last drive. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony Barr bailed me out at 6'5", so uh, I'll take it. I'm going to get a little mushy on you. I know Strafen is a great friend of yours, six years. Overall, just talk about the respect you have for, for him as, as a guy and as a Madden player. In Madden, it's not easy to be one of the best year in and year out. And, uh, you know, he's, he's top five every year. Uh, you know, we've played thousands of times. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's, just, he's just one of the best he is. No doubt, and Strafe, as I turn to you, like I said, this was a heavyweight slugfest. You came up on the losing end this time, but just overall, what was it like to be part of such an epic battle? We were all on the edge of our seats. It, it was exciting. If it, I, I mean, if I got to lose someone, lose to spot me, um, kind of mad I threw that pick, but uh, <laughs> that's how it goes. Well, spot me means so much to you. Just overall, how was this experience like, just going up against him and having that friendship to fall back on, regardless of who wins or loses? Yeah, like I said, I... If I had to lose someone, I'm happy it's him. Uh, he's a great guy, family man, so mm -hmm. happy for him. All right, well, best of luck moving forward. Thanks. All right, well, it's all about family and friendships. Let's send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach. Thank you, Trey. we got some friendship.